Hi guys, today we're doing a war paint and wine. Um, I just thought it was time to check back in with you all. Um, so I'm filming this and I guess I'm on my way to work and so this isn't going to be a terribly adventurous uh, makeup look. Uh, it's just really more about um, checking in with you all and here's where I am. So I'm doing my makeup now. I'm getting ready for work and I'm just going to keep talking or try to. So This is the Origin Plant Scription Anti-Aging Power Serum. I've been using this for my moisturizer here lately. I really like it. I've got an appointment this evening. Uh, my mom and I went to the Tuscan Spa this weekend. Uh, we wanted to get Botox. Apparently you can't do that the same day. So I have an appointment, uh, I think for next week for that. So. I'll be trying to get rid of some of this that drives me crazy and shows up in all of my videos. So uh, I guess you guys can watch that. Uh, I want to say transformation. It may not be that drastic, but nevertheless, um, watch the outcome of that. But I have uh, an appointment this evening to have some spider veins on my legs removed. Uh, my husband and my mom both joked that they didn't even know that I had any, but they bother me. So anyway taking care of that this evening and I hope that goes well. We're at about the fifth week of school and it's been a tough semester. I've had good days and I've had bad days and there have definitely been more, I don't know, bearable days than there were last fall. Uh, last fall was before I started the medication and it's really when, when things got bad. This is Smashbox Photo Finish Radiant Foundation Primer Radiance with Hyaluronic Acid. It's this one. Oh yeah, and my my mom and my husband both pointed out that I need to like do something with my nails in my videos. So just so you know, um, that was gel on my nails. It was the Mini Macaroon uh, gel. Anyway, uh, I was the first one of those that I tried and I could not get that stuff off of my nails at all. So it was on there forever. But at their um, remarking on that in my previous videos, that I felt like it was probably a good idea to just get rid of that. So I sanded it all down and I put on something else. So you're going to see a lot of short nails because, of course, I had to sand the top layers of my nails to get that off. But anyway, so the problem with that stuff is I have really thin nails, so they bend. And it stayed really well in the parts of my nails that don't tend to bend, but everywhere else it just came right off almost immediately. And then the rest of it I just could not get off. So, yeah, not really my favorite product there. Wouldn't necessarily uh, suggest that one. Uh, this is the Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation in Fair Beige. I've been uh, gravitating to this one quite a bit here lately. Uh, I do like this one. The applicator is a bit weird, honestly. But could be worse. But yeah, it's it's been a very challenging semester so far. Just trying to keep everything together. We're still staring down this A bet and I feel like all the laser sights are pointed at me. If everything goes well, it'll be everybody's fault. But if not, if it doesn't go well, it'll only be my fault. And that's, maybe I'm being paranoid, but I don't feel that way. 
So that's been a huge source of stress and anxiety and turmoil. And I know that I know that that will pass, that that will be behind me. I've got some epic smoky eye going on still here. Don't care. Whatever. I'm just going to add to it. Um, yeah. It's been, it's been a ride. Uh, I am excited. Our seniors are doing really well. Lots of really cool projects going on. Been able to add a couple more companies to our repertoire so that's really awesome I can't take credit for that 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 has to do with my students being awesome and they're related to their internships so congrats to uh, all those guys it's actually all guys this year um, engineering but yeah so, I mean, there have been good points, but it's just been tumultuous. I feel like every time I make strides in one direction, I get behind in 10 more. You know, I honestly, I feel silly even still doing my videos. Like, I love these. I feel like this is like the only creative outlet I really get but at the same time every time I film every time I spend time uh, C2 all right this is the revolution conceal and define and C2 every time I do basically anything that's not work I feel guilty I feel like I don't know like um just screwing off and I know that that's not strictly fair I know that's part of my depression issues but at the same time it's really hard to shake that feeling that I'm allowed to actually do other things so I'm not really I'm not like I have so much that's been put on my plate that I just I don't have the extra time and I really have considered not doing these anymore but at the same time I feel like these are the only thing that are really keeping me sane so it's a catch-22 but today I'm filming this guilt-free because I have to get ready for work anyway so not doing anything too crazy, but anyway. So that's life in a nutshell. Um, I haven't had time to put the video up yet, so I hope you guys bear with me. Um, but I do have a video coming eventually on my backdrop. Uh, my room redo, so to speak. Um, just what I did in my backdrop here. Uh, I hope you guys like it. Uh, I would tell you to tell me if you don't, but please don't, because <laughs> I spent a lot of time and effort on that, and not to mention money. So, yeah, please don't. Don't be hating. I do think it looks better than the sequins regardless. Those were pretty generic and kind of cheesy. I mean, I knew that to begin with, but you gotta start somewhere. <laughs> All right, this has been my go-to forever. This is the Tartis Pro Glow Palette. I'm just using it for all my Contour, bronze, highlight. The medication has helped. It's not 
a magic fix because the reason you end up in these holes is because you've got a bigger issue that you need to deal with. And the bigger issue is just I'm always too busy and I've got to learn how to deal with that. But it overall has helped calm the spaz. I know I was at the point where I couldn't even chip things off the list because I just couldn't even approach the things that I had to deal with. I was just frozen. That's the best way to put it. I was just frozen in one ball of nerves and I just felt like I constantly wanted to sit in the corner and curl up in a ball and cry. And I, I yeah, better than that. So, <laughs> so it has gotten getting better. Um, because of the medication, I've been able to, I mean, it put a few pounds on me, but at the same time, I've been able to uh, undertake a diet and so my husband and I have been back on keto for about almost two months now so we've been doing pretty well on that and definitely that has helped overall uh, not just losing weight but also having um, that's the low carb diet so having something that stabilizes my blood sugar uh, has also really contributed to reducing the spaz. We also have better schedules than we've had in the past. This is the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in 4.5. I have like really been in love with these here as of late. I picked up the trial kit, um, the brow tryouts kit. And I really liked all of those that I tried, but this is the one I liked the best. And then this one was on sale, so I made sure I picked this up. This is the 24 hour brow setter just to keep them in place. It's just clear. I like the wand on this one maybe a little bit better than the NYX, but honestly they're basically about the same as far as I can tell. I do really like this product, but I probably wouldn't pay full price for it again, which I didn't, it was a tryout, so I didn't pay full price for it now, but probably wouldn't pay the, the full price for it if it was on sale for half price, which they do occasionally, and it was 12 bucks versus the like 10 bucks for the NYX, I'd probably pick up this one, but just a normal day, I probably would go for the, the control freak, but you know, whatever. I feel like I need some blush today. I don't always do blush, but I feel like I need some. Makes me look like I'm alive instead of dead inside. Oh, that was messed up. Anyway, let's have some blush. I don't like that blush. Okay. I need some good blush brushes. All of mine, I feel like, are too stiff or too fluffy and I haven't found one that I really am in love with yet so depends on the day and what brush which one I pick this is sorry this is the benefit rockateur that color mine's just a little mini
I like getting the minis of things because it lets me try a bunch of stuff. And anything that I really fall in love with, I'll buy another of, or I'll buy the full size. But that way I'm not stuck with something that I ended up not really liking all that well to begin with. I've been doing the, uh, oh, I've got foundation on that. Um, it's actually pour filler. Making a mess. Yeah. yeah, I've been doing the uh, original naked a bunch here as of late, especially going to work because, you know, it's good daytime shades. I know it's dark, and but I'm the person that thinks that those are daytime shades. Anyway, but it's just so sad that... I feel like the Naked palette really is one of the things that kicked off this whole, I don't know, I want to say makeup craze. I feel like it got bigger then. I mean, makeup's always been a big thing that's, it's makeup, but I don't know. I feel like it was kind of the first of an era. And it's discontinued now, so that's makes me feel old. <laughs> but I guess that's life. I find that these are all darker than you think they are. I'm gonna grab the shade Naked. I'll start that in my crease. I'm trying to be adventurous today, it's not happening. I mean, I already chose, like, the classicestest palette ever. So. I'm probably just gonna do something pretty basic today. This is mostly about talking, honestly. I mean, I thank you for listening. I know I'm not the only person who has issues. That's part of why I like to talk to you. Everybody feels like they're the only person that's dealing with this. At least I know I did. And that's been one of the biggest realizations is that you aren't alone. The other hardest thing is realizing that just because the people around you care doesn't mean that they necessarily understand. So, I mean, that's not, that's not being mean, it's just being truthful. It's not that people don't love you because they don't get it. But there are people who get it. I sure as hell get it. You're not alone. It's a mantra. You have to remind yourself of that. You'll find your safe havens. And I'm always here to talk. So message me if you get to that point. Because I get it. This is sidecar. I'm just kind of painting. primer in here. Oh well. It's just work. <laughs> it's 
It's only going on YouTube. something under my eyes. That's one I've been practicing a whole lot here lately. It's just trying to do my lower lash line eyeshadow. And I have found that it makes a really big difference to my look. But I've also found that if you're not careful, you can really ruin a look with it, too. So, <laughs> I guess that goes both ways. You've now been warned. This is the shade Sin. I always do my inner corners, but I never really feel like it makes as big a difference for me as it does for like everybody else. But whatever. And I want to smudge that out with something, but I want something a little more matte. And I want a dense brush. Not getting one. Everything's dirty. Never enough time in the day. This isn't the one I'm looking for, but it'll have to do. This is my Lamora small shader. And I'm gonna pick up the shade toasted because it's I don't know, it's pretty and I want to. And I'm going to just feather that out. Good days and bad days. All right, so this is the Tarte Man Eater uh, Self Sharpening Eyeliner. I have found myself reaching for this like a ton here as of late. It's great for the waterline. And I've been doing a lot more smoky eyes and things because I'm back at work. So it's really, it's, I mean, you're not going to do a cat eye with it, but it's, it's a good smudge liner. I actually like it better than my Rimmel, and that's pretty impressive because I've used that stuff for years. I us just line everything. That's the other thing. Um, when I go back for the Botox to get rid of these, I'll be so excited. Um, starting to get these too. I'm not into that. Uh, I'm going to have them remove these, I don't know, spots, bumps, whatever, that have come up in the last few years because they bug me. I know I've mentioned those to you guys before. It's like I'm not going to put anything too shiny here because it's going to, you know, highlight that. But apparently that's a fairly affordable fix. So I'm going for it. And we'll see how it turns out. So I guess at least I can be your guinea pig. Um, anyway, what do I want for liner liner? Do I want a cat eye today? Yeah, maybe. Oh, let's be adventurous. All right, I'm gonna do a, a kind of a smudgy cat eye. This is the Makeup Revolution uh, Renaissance Flick eyeliner. And it's kind of a little bit fatter and some of the other ones that I've used, but I actually really like this one um, when you're doing like more of a chunky cat eye. Like I'm not gonna do like whoosh with this stuff. You probably could if you wanted to sit there for a while, but I find that it is a good fast, more I don't know, like I 
there's a chunky water. I'm going to work. I'm not doing falsies. Sorry, kids. Um, so this is Benefit Roller Lash. I bought the three pack of those. So this is just a little guy, but I really like this, uh, this mascara. So I have a backup of it, so I don't mind using it as much. So I'm kind of just using this one. I find this stuff is a very good impact mascara for, like I said, everyday looks because I'm on my way to work. And yes, that's my stomach growling. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. Usually do the uh, like protein shakes for breakfast these days. They work well though. Yeah, if you have any questions about keto, I'm um, all game for that too. I uh, I actually really like keto. Um, I just feel yeah. I don't know where that went. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in more about keto, we can totally do that. Um, I've like I said, do you eat like an alien a bit? It's definitely a little harder to. Uh, go out and eat. You know, basically have like steak houses and such that are pretty keto friendly. Caesar salads with no croutons and all that kind of good stuff. Um, but it's getting easier. It is. Um, we've been doing this on and off for years. If we would ever just like actually commit to it, we'd do a whole lot better. Um, but it definitely used to be a lot harder. It's gotten a lot more popular between people who are gluten-free and low-carb and all of the stuff. People definitely understand uh, ordering burgers with no buns and goofy things like that better than they used to. So it's not as bad as it used to be. Because honestly, that's that's always really the reason that we end up no longer on keto. Beer. <laughs> and eating out in a restaurant. Just like with friends or whatever. You just kind of want to have uh, some festivity. And... It's a little harder to do that. So what lipstick do I want today? I've been grabbing this on like so much, but I really do like it. So we're going to get that. This is the Maybelline uh, Super Stay Matte Ink. And this is shade 65 called Seductress. I have quite a few of these. I'll probably end up with a whole set of these colors eventually because I really do like these. They stay put. Especially like for going to work. I don't I don't take time to put lipstick back on. Ew. I'm just busy. Like I want my day to work like that. Where I can just oh I'm gonna touch up my makeup now. Yeah that's not really practical barely have time to eat if I even do. Honestly, it's another one of the good things about keto is you kind of care a lot less about food. So most of the time these days I just don't even eat at work. If I do, it's usually just like a protein shake or something like that. So, I guess that's me. Um, I'm straightening my hair. 
It's another thing I've been doing a lot here lately. My hair's been a lot healthier because I've been washing it a whole lot less. So, for instance, I did not wash it this morning. Um, the color's staying better. This is a different uh, product. Well, a different shade of the same product. Or a couple different shades, but anyway. Uh, but yeah, so I've just been kind of straightening it and... learning to love my, my straightener a lot more than I, I used to. Alright, good enough. <clears throat> Turn off. Alrighty. So... This is a completed look on my way to work. I appreciate you guys listening to me whine. And again, remember, I'm here for you. So, you know, don't be afraid to message me. Don't be afraid to reach out because I get it. I really do. And I thank you again for being my support network. I truly appreciate it. So. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.